Ladies and gentlemen, the train is now arriving at the Collaboration Station. Please have your boarding pass ready for your one-stop shop for high-quality conversations between two lifelong associates. Welcome back. We're on episode seven. Welcome back, baby. That was a heater right Welcome there. I kind of just baby. went off right there. That honestly bro. sounded Have the like boarding the pass ready, a, bro. That sounded like the beginning of a track that was just gonna snap. Just gonna. Snap. I, I honestly thought you were gonna like datpiff.com world. <laughs> <premiere>. <laughs> It's like a radio host. <laughs> was Collaboration like, right. station world premiere episode ninety two three now. Pew pew pew. Yeah, right. The alien sound effect and the horns. Eh, eh. <laughs> it's so gas. Oh man, episode seven. We back. Tyler, how you feeling, man? How's your week been? How are you? What do you got plans? What? what? Talk to me. Just let's just start. Let's just start you know, riffing. Yeah, I, I think mean, that's the word, or that means something else, but it's okay. Listen, I don't. I don't live a very <laughs> oh, fascinating geez. life. You know, I'm just. I'm here. I wake up. I move. Okay. I move three feet to right here, and then when I'm done, I move three feet back that way. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I sleep and wake up in this exact spot, and then that cycle continues. So I'm here for like. You've actually been in this spot like that for four days. You just hit the record button for the podcast. Like you literally have not moved. There are <laughs> since some the days, last time we recorded. Honestly, there are some days where I wake up and my body's like, "Nah, you're not ready," and I'll just like lean back in my chair and like take an hour, like like another thirty minute hour nap. I'll just like I'll grab a sweatshirt off my door and just like use it as a blanket. It, this chair is pretty comfortable. And I think how much time I think, do you think a week? How much time a week are you spending in that chair? Way too much. Way too much. Uh, do you like stretch or anything like that? Or yeah, yeah, just... yeah. I go to the kitchen. I refill. I refill my. Yeti I'm not talking out. about. I'm not talking about w- getting up, opening the door, and walking a few steps. I'm talking about like no, yeah. 15 minutes of concentrated, like targeted stretch. Hey, I. Uh, I mean, or... I mowed the lawn yesterday. I gave myself a nice little blister. So this Got sucks. Got that bandaided up. This sucks. Okay. I hate. I, it sucks. I hate it. Was it really hot out, or was it nice out when you were lawn mowing? It was, I mean, it, it was hot, but, yo, shout out to that breeze yesterday. It was a nice Gotta love breeze. the breeze, man. Dude, that hit you, and it was just like... Shout out to the airbenders giving you know? us that breeze sometimes, yeah, yo, you know? Yo, Aang, that's my homie, shout out. <laughs> One love, Aang. I hope you're doing well, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the, uh, yeah, thank man, you for the airbending, well. bro. Shout out, bro. Shout out. Hope the whole saving the but, world um, thing is going all right for you, bro. No, but yeah, bro, I've been chilling. Listen, listen. Listen. I'm listening. I possibly made the greatest idea come to come to light come to being, you know? Really? You uh, came up with a banger idea. And it will remain the best idea that I'll have for the rest of the year. Are you gonna is this one of those things that you tell me or it is. <laughs> Or are you just gonna keep talking about it? But listen, listen. I know, right, I know, I know, I know you did something similar. You brought your what did uh, I do when this whole thing started? When we started working from home, you brought a, a GameCube to your apartment. I did not only bring a GameCube to my apartment. I drove two hours southwest to acquire a GameCube. Yeah, and that purchased was, it. Yep, and drove back. And you do it again and again and again. I would do it every day this week if I could. Now. Your boy. Stop referring to yourself. I thought in episode like four, you we were like, okay, no more your boys. There's literally an episode named your boy times like whatever number I put. Listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry. Your pal here. <laughs> your buddy. Uh, listen here, buckaroo. <laughs> your friend here. Uh, okay, there we go. Went to... um. Your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Hey, I speaking of neighborhoods, I went. I went back. To, I went back to my neighborhood. I went back to awesome. the neighborhood where it all started. The OG and spot. I was like, okay. Yo, mom. Yo, dad. What's good? Y'all got an IG or? <laughs> Let me tag you on my post. We get you some followers. Come on. <laughs> I can't. If my parents had like, like, if my if my parents were like, Instagram influencers. <laughs> Oh, oh! No. What do you think they would be, bro? What do you think? 
If my parents were influencer in- for what? What fucking dude? I don't. What would it be? If my parents, what would were- low key be like the hardest fucking thing? Where it's like, yeah, they do that, bro. That's fucking sick. Oh no, what my parents be- wouldn't be. No, my parents would be like, they do that. What? And then I'd be like, yeah. I'm trying to think this. of things, but like everything that I'm thinking of is dope. Like imagine being like a lawn influencer. <laughs> like your dad just pops off on the lawn and just fucking 10,000 likes in like an hour. On- <laughs> Yo, uh, I just, just want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, John Deere. For <laughs> yeah. hooking me up with the, the latest and greatest tractor of all time. The all Laser right. Razor Leaf fucking 2000. <laughs> Gets the job done right. The laser razor. Yeah, he gets bro. it done the first time. No, fuck. What were we talking about? I don't know. We just like we just hard skirted to uh. All right, all right, all parent, right. So you parent said you influencers. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I forgot oh, what we were my, fucking talking the, about. The greatest thing I've done this entire. Oh yeah, year. I bought a GameCube, and then you were gonna and, say what and, you did and with nothing, your idea, and nothing will amount to to this idea. I found my old original Xbox. And I was like, I like where this is going, and I man. Was like, you I, know am, what? I am a fan I, of where this I, is going. I picked it up. I blew the dust off of it, just like it was in a movie. The light was peeking, like peeking right through the uh, right through the blinds. Dust. I blew it. <sighs> scattered everywhere. I look at it. Memories flash. I, I'm like talking as if I'm like <laughs> reading a novel. Um, Yo, I saw that and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, wait, you're done? I thought you were going to keep going. (laughs) No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I saw it. I picked it up and I was just like, fuck. Because I remember what games I had. I brought them all. Go down the list. I brought them all. I hooked it up. Go down the list. What you got? I I, I hooked it up to the, uh, the living room of my apartment. No shame. Dude. Oh my god, it was so fun. It's just what like games, give me a list. Listen. What kind of games you got? I have give me like top three, top five, whatever you got. Oh, okay, top top three that I brought with me. Sure. Jet Set in this order, Jet Set Radio Future. Obviously. Splashdown. Wait. Splashdown is the jet ski game, isn't it? That's the jet ski racing game? That was my childhood. I I don't listen. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know the amount of hours I spent on that game. If we're Dude. talking like real gamer hours, <laughs> bro, I would be like top of Twitch directory for that game with the amount of hours I put into that shit. I would have. Dude, I don't even want to know. Splashdown, bro. Splashdown, bro. Yo, was that the game? I mean, those. I mean, that was like the fucking jet ski racing game. But is that the game? Where if you went too far out of bounds during a race, the Kraken's tentacle would come yes! up and launch you like at, like back. Yes, bro, that shit used to give me nightmares, but I always used to do it because it was the dopest shit dude, ever. It's funny because it would just happen. That's it like would... a jump scare, dude. Yeah, Low key, I was like fucking four, and a would... Kraken just picked me up and I, threw me. I knew it was coming every time, but it would scare the shit out of me. Time and time again. Yeah. Cause like, Dude, splashdowns a throwback. Certain man. areas of the map, like you can you can keep going, you can keep going, but there's are certain areas where like the second you get out of the bounds, it like snags you and just launches Giant you. Giant kraken, yeah, literally launches, launches you off you. a jet ski. Launches you. <laughs> like I don't think people get it. Like he didn't. No, just, like you get. Flung. He didn't just pick you up and like toss you back in the map. This guy fucking booted you. <laughs> Into another universe. Dude. You just leave the stratosphere and like lose gravitational pull and shit. You just start floating <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> bro. This thing would... Yo, that shit was scary as fuck, Holy man. Holy shit. That shit was scary as fuck. Bro, listen. Fuck Elon Musk and his rockets. Alright? You don't need to get to space like that. All you need to do is just play Splashdown. <laughs> And just drive out the fucking map. You'll be in the... Bro, you'll be in the moon in like three seconds, bro. I shit you not. Yo, that was the best fucking joke you ever said in your life, I swear. (laughs) Just get fucking catapulted and splashed down and you're fucking set. You will be at the moon in record time. Dude, I Light years. Light years per second. Via Kraken Tentacle. (laughs) 
Bro, that was you dude, get I completely lost, forgot about bro. that. That's mad funny. That's Splashdown mad funny. was lit. Bro, Splashdown yeah, was fucking, fucking dude, lit. Splashdown, Jet Set Radio Future, I played a shit ton and I'm like currently obsessed with that right now. As I've always been. Of course. Give, okay, me, a couple more. Give um, me a couple more. I also brought Simpsons Road Rage. <sighs> I, I know it's not hit and run, but it's I was it's, just about to say listen, that. It's it's up there. Dude, can I actually tell you a story about Hit and Run right now? Let me tell you a story. So you, you know how you mentioned you know how you mentioned uh, that I fucking drove half a fucking afternoon to get a GameCube. Mm-hmm. So getting the GameCube, there was three games on my list that I needed to have. I have like seven or eight now, but there was three on the list. Like the reason it made it all worth it to fucking drop like two hundred bills that day and who knows how much gas money to get this fucking GameCube. It was Pokemon Coliseum, which Ooh. is an open world Pokemon game Ooh. on GameCube. Yep. It's not it's not the it's not the 1v1 arena Pokemon Coliseum from 64 you're thinking of. This is fucking open world RPG Pokemon. It's fucking Ooh. amazing. Yeah. And then the the sequel to that, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, don't have that yet, but the second store is open up again. Uh I'm going to cop it. But the third one was Simpsons Hit and Run. I said I wanted Simpsons Hit and Run so bad because as a kid when I had it on Xbox and PlayStation 2, I couldn't. I was so fucking garbage at like five years old, I couldn't beat it. Never beat it once. And I told myself, I'm buying this fucking GameCube and I'm getting Simpsons Hit and Run and I'm going to beat it. So I called the place right before I got there and I was like, hey, uh, what games do you have? I asked them for like all the Pokemon games, blah, blah, blah. And then finally I was like, hey, do you guys have Simpsons Hit and Run? She goes, no, nah, I'm sorry. I was like, ah, fuck it. They had other games that I wanted. So drove down there. Went in, said what's good to the people. They were really nice. I wish I remember the name so I could shout them out, but unfortunately I don't. But shout out to them. Local retro gaming store, whatever. Big ups. Uh, yeah, big ups to them. Low-key, such fire stores, bro. Retro gaming stores are heat. They're fun, man. They're fun. But I go in, and she immediately, she had the GameCube waiting for me. Because I said, please don't let anybody. There was the last one. I was like, please don't let anybody buy it. Like, put my name on it. I promise I'll be there this afternoon. Like, just save it for me. Like, I will come get it. So I drove down there, everything was set, she slaps it on the counter, and like immediately as soon as I walked in, I could have been in and out like that, just gave her the money, got the GameCube and dipped, but I was like, hey, do you mind if I just look around for a little bit, because I wanted to see if they had any Game Boy Pokemon games, just for like, just to see what they got. That's, Classics. that's my next, that's my next, I gotta, we'll I gotta get find there my too. Yeah. We'll get oh, there, fuck, to, uh, we'll get to Pokemon Emerald. Game Boy games. I need to play games. Emerald again, fuck. Yeah, Emerald is so good, bro. Damn. We'll talk about that, because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fucking fire, but... I'm like, yeah, let me just look around. I just start bullshitting around the store, looking at stuff, picking up random GameCube games from back in the day. And I'm checking out. I'm literally handing the lady the bread, the money. I'm like, okay, thank you very much. She's going with the receipt. And I look over. It was a big square counter, right? Like you could be on all angles of it in the middle. Big square counter. I look over and Simpsons hit and run for GameCube is just sitting on the counter. There we go. It's just sitting there. I looked around and I said, excuse me, ma'am. That wasn't there like three minutes ago. Uh, is that for sale? She looks over. There's some other guy in there. I didn't even know there was another dude in there. She goes, hey, you're selling this back, man, right? And she, he's like, yeah, I have another copy at home. I don't want it. I was like, can I have that, please? Wow. She's like, yeah, sure. Bro, literally, I was about to walk out two minutes prior to that. And the guy walked in and said, hey, can I exchange this? And put Simpsons wow. hand on for a GameCube, mint condition, on the fucking counter. Literally, as I was grabbing my bag and walking out, like I had to do two transactions wow. because it was already done. Wow! And Simpsons Dude, Run was on the fucking that? counter. Wow! I what looked the at the guy on the that? way out, bro. I looked at the guy on the way out. I was like, "You have no idea what the fuck you just did, bro." Like, Damn. I will never see that guy again. I didn't get his name, but if if he even walked in and before going to the counter decided to just look around and hold Hit and Run in his hand, I would have. I wouldn't have had it. I wouldn't have it. Yeah. But the fact that he walked in and placed it on the counter and then went to go look around. Bro, it was like the most mind blowing shit ever. I was like, "How the fuck did that just happen?" The stars aligned right. That's then literally there. it. Right then bro, and there, they were just like, "Yo, shit. let's just let's just align real quick, bro." Holy fuck! I was like, "Dude, we've been shitting on this guy for years. Let's just <laughs> let's line up for him just one time. We'll give him hit and run." <laughs> Yo, they were up there like, "I think this guy deserves a break." <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker just drove three hours. Like, let's just fucking do it. <laughs> like, you know what? I I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad. Let's just. It's like we we've, we've been going a little too hard on him. Here, here you Dude, go, man. it's funny. It's, awesome though. It's funny that you awesome. said that because this that's like the same thing with me and Jet Set Radio Future in terms of not <laughs> not like not like going in and like buying it, but in yeah, terms yeah. of me 
Like, that was, like, one of the only games I played as, like, I played this game, relig like, religiously. It was really like that. I know yeah. you talk about it a lot, but it was really like that. Huh? I just made a fucking Instagram uh, post about it today. Like, I fucking, I love this shit. Check his Instagram. Check his Instagram. Not, right I there. mean, It'll I'm, be I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You know, it's right there. Shit, it's right. I mean, it's but, right uh, there. It's just handsome <laughs> visuals. Just go check it's it out. Just, it's just right there, you know? It's, it's just, just free. Right it's, it's free, too. You it's, know, you know? Just go hit the follow button. No, but, uh, but, um, <laughs> yeah, like, I would play this game nonstop, but. That's awesome. But I never, I never beat it. When I was like a kid actually playing it because the game does like there's no like like start menu and you can like see your objective and like it like it doesn't tell you what to do it tells you like the only time it really tells you what you have to do is when you like are at that point of the game and it's telling you what to do but after that nothing it just right. There's no indicator, there's no HUD, there's no... Oh, that's cool. So it's like, you have to, like... That's cool. You have to listen to what it tells you and do it. Um, just because the game was... I mean, it's an old game, so, like, they probably didn't right. even have the, the... Enough space to put a fucking yeah, map. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I... I... What I'm thinking happened is that I was done playing for the day. Saved and quit. Which, by the way, there were designated save and quit spots. Like, you had to literally go to a certain spot in the game to save it you that was just... really common in old games yeah. i guess they really couldn't do the uh the start save i guess yeah but pokemon did that on the game boy color fucking in 1995 or whatever mm -hmm. it's weird that like console games maybe yeah, I, don't know. I don't know maybe i don't know I but um but yeah like so i i probably like saved quit and then loaded up uh the next day and just like over that period of not playing forgot what i was supposed to do so I was, I had no, because like at that point, at that point you do all the levels, but you're supposed to like do them all again because like a new, a new gang comes in and does like their graffiti and all that. So you have to like recover it up. And I didn't know where to start at, at that point. Um, but like what I learned later in life is that you can just go to like the, the hot spot for like you and your crew and like, okay. you can like interact with everyone there and when you interact with them they like give you hints as to like where you're supposed to go that's actually fucking lit wait and, that's cool as fuck and i didn't know that so i'm right. just you know skating yeah i'm just skating like a, a chicken with his head cut off had no idea what i was supposed to do and so like i was like you know what i missed that game and i want to beat it so bad so i bought it like years ago when it was like backward compatible for the 360 and I beat okay. it, and I was like, it just felt really good. And I was like, you know what? It's time to play it again, because I miss it. Oh, yeah. And by the way, yeah. uh, how you said you got yours in mint condition? Well, it looked like I shoved mine in a wood chipper, and it works perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs> I looks, wasn't expecting that. Looks, I wasn't expecting that. Dude, it looks like I can just, like, touch it, and it'll just, like burst into a million pieces in my hand this thing looks like it went through through war like bro you have that battles battle wounds you have to see the, the fucking back of this disc you'd be like <laughs> there's no fucking way i do i'd show you and be like oh i bet you like 20 bucks that it that it wouldn't run you just take one gamestop wouldn't even take it back oh for three cents god it works perfectly fine like, let's go. that's let's awesome go. let's, let's go. go and you know what's fucked up i've had classic games like that that i've bought amazing like back of the disc doesn't load does it just stops fucking loading bro this... that was the problem man that was a huge fucking problem for me i mean i had the so dude i was like listen, I, used... I was always good about keeping my games clean always i don't i just have no idea what happened to this game in particular this one just but... fucking bro this one just went through the fucking <laughs> the wear and tear of 17 years of being grinded by you <laughs> Well, that was more wear and tear. That thing looked like it, it just it lived its own life and was just, you know what I'm saying? Like Had its whole fucking life cycle. Dude, if you saw this That's thing... That's funny, man. Like, it's awesome that you're still playing it, though, dude. I fucking... Like, oh, I'm the same so way. When I play my Game Boy Pokemon games, bro, it's like, dude, it's just... It's so cool because you... You're kind of looking at the game through a different lens now, right? You're so much older. You know shit that's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually, like... Like, understand the entirety of the game and plan out, like, for a Pokemon game... 
I can now, like, before I even press a new game, I'll know my entire fucking team, how I'm going to pick, like, exactly, where I'm exactly. going to get them, why I'm going to get them, what yep. points they're going to be good for yep. before I even start the fucking game. Yeah. And as a yeah. kid, I was like, oh, let me pick the fire Cyndaquil dude, because it's fire. Dude, <laughs> I beat I beat the Elite Four, like, before I even load up a new game. I beat them in my head. Oh, yeah, because you have the whole fucking... I'm like, all right. This, you like, set your team up to just be super yeah, effective against yeah. every Elite Four. It's so fucking easy. Yeah. And then once you get to that point, you just do the Elite Four like 19 million times just to level up your stuff. But, dude, I, no, I so feel fun, that. It's so fun, I feel that because, like, a, like, especially those, like, handheld games like that. Like, oh, I, I, like, in my, in my, like, with what I've, like, done with, like, uh, with gaming and all that, like, because I obviously grew up on it, mm. I I look at that as if like a normal person would look at a book, like they would just like it's just like their downtime thing, right? Like I right. can I just sit on the couch and like I, I'm gonna fucking do that, you, because like I really want to play it again. But it's just, Bro, I literally like, have my DS, mm-hmm. my my first the first ever original DS, the silver one, the original fucking DS. Damn. I have that. Damn. And it's fucking awesome. I have, right now I have Ruby and Pearl in it. Mm-hmm. I have per, uh, Pokemon Pearl for uh, DS, but I got Ruby in there. I just beat... I'm fucking pissed, man. I can't find my Leaf Green. Oh, I'm so fucking mad I can't find my Leaf Green. I want to play Leaf Green so That's bad, what I have Ruby to do. is fun yeah, as yeah. fuck. Because, like, I would always... I would crush Emerald, like, nonstop. I, I played yeah, Emerald that. was really fucking but good, I, man. I, 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 I gotta get, like, a dude, Fire Red or Leaf Green. I remember when Emerald fucking came out. Holy shit, dude. I remember going to the fucking Toys R Us for the Emerald release. Yo, I fucking holy shit! Yo, that just blew my mind. All the way, Blaziken is obviously dude, don't fucking even fucking. If you're not sick. picking Torchic, Yo. if you're not picking Torchic, what are you fucking doing? But I remember, holy fuck, man, it just blew my fucking mind. Walking into Toys R Us, going directly to the fucking Game Boy Advance section. Yeah, Game Boy Advance, and they had this cardboard. Um, one of those stands, you know those cardboard stands that are like a character, what are they fucking called? I forget, you know, the cardboard cutout of a character, yeah, yeah. but it was a big cardboard cutout of Rayquaza, and the middle was just cut out, and they For had the, the yeah, um, yeah, 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 they had the, no, they had the fucking, not the game, the game was on the shelf, they had the guidebook, and I never, Ooh. I'll never forget walking into that aisle, I remember, and yo. seeing that Rayquaza cutout with all the guidebooks, I looked at my dad, and I was like, I don't give a fuck. We're copying the guidebook right fucking now with it. Dude, dude, I like literally like zombie mode, like just walked to the fucking cardboard cutout, like picked it up magnet. and just held it in Bro, I held it in my hands. I was like like sacred text, bro, as a fucking however old bro. I was, like 8 or 9, and I was looking at it. I was like Bro, in the car ride, I had my Game Boy with me in the car ride there. The second I sat in the fucking, still in the back seat, young as fuck, sat my ass in the back seat, guidebook page one on my lap, new game, Game Boy ready on the drive home. Holy dude. fucking shit, dude. 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 That guidebook? Holy book, fucking shit. That guidebook may as well have been like sacred text because that thing, that thing could have killed somebody. <laughs> that thing that was the size it of It was a, a lethal weapon, that bro. That thing was the size of a cinder block, dude. <laughs> And uh, dude, I I remember it so vividly. It was just oh my god! It was like that like emerald like like it was the oh, green and Rayquaza yeah. was on the cover. The big Pokemon in yellow gold letters. Holy shit, dude! That thing was a fucking lethal weapon. Dude. I stayed strapped with that. I walked all around <laughs> my house with Game Boy in one hand, strapped with the Emerald Guidebook in the other. Oh, dude, bro, I would be sitting and eating dinner, and Emerald would be like, my plate would be like right here, and Emerald Guidebook would be open on whatever page I'm on, and I would just be fucking tearing it up, yo. Dude, holy shit, bro, the amount of nights that I would just stay up way past my bedtime with like, Do you hide your with, DS like under the pillow, with my cover over my head, dude. Oh my god, I. That was the start of my addiction. Yeah, Pokemon. For sure. And you know what's fucked up? I started playing Pokemon literally like before, I think straight up before I could fucking walk because there was a Game Boy Color in my house with Pokemon Red the year I was born. I was born in 1995. That game pretty, I think that game came out in North America in 1995. Damn. Like I literally birth year, there was a Game Boy Color and a po- like, I probably tried like chewing on the Game Boy Color, but like thinking back like i probably played that shit when yeah. i was like less than a fucking year old like literally just asking someone like hey can i just you know whatever dude i was Holy i was, shit, I was big into pokemon bro like 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 nobody fucking uh, knows bro the cartoon would come on like weekdays 
Wait, was it weekdays or, or week weekends? It was but, every day, bro. But, that that but shit was, was on like, every day. It was at like seven in the morning, and I remember it was right my, before school. Yeah, and my parents had a TV in their bedroom, and bro, I I would wake up, and they would turn their lights on, but like I have sensitive eyes, so like every single time I watched Pokemon on the TV, I would like squint because like. Like, the fucking lights were on, and it just hurt my eyes. But I would just be so glued to this TV. So I good, just man. I wouldn't even care. Bro, what the fuck? That's like... I remember I used to be pissed as fuck because, like you said, po- it was Pokemon and I-, I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh! They were, they were the only shows I wanted to watch, but they would be on, like you said, like 6.30 a.m. and 7 a.m., right? It would be back-to-back. Mm-hmm. But I would always wake up at, like, 730 put on my school uniform and go to fucking school. So like I never I never watched TV before school. Like I would wake up at the least possible second or last possible second and then get my ass to school. So I never got a chance to like shower in the morning, watch TV, eat breakfast. I never did that shit. Mm-hmm. I just went right to school and everybody would be talking about like yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Everybody would be talking about the episode in the morning. I'm like God, fucking They're like yeah, I had chocolate chip pancakes and watched the fucking Charmander fucking evolve into like, Charmander yeah, shut up. this episode. I'm man, like, shut Come up, man. Shut up. Shut, Shut up, up, man. Shut up. What the fuck? I had fucking water for breakfast. I had water and no cartoons for breakfast. And I spilled half of it running towards the bus. <laughs> Yo, uh, that's actually fucking... I didn't know that you were in a, into the DS grind back then, or like the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy... Were you Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance? Uh, both. You, had, had you were a, in Color I, as well, I, I good. St- my, it started with a Game Boy Color that... Uh, some some asshole stole from me. I know exactly where I was. I know exactly when it straight up straight up stole it right out of my bag. And and because I had a listen, my Game Boy Color, oh. my Game Boy Color was turquoise. You had the turquoise I had one. A turquoise Game Boy Color. No, no one else had way. it. I bro, see. Bro, the and, turquoise and, Game Boy was fucking bro, heat. I, I, heat. I I would bring it to uh to summer camp all the time. I'm surprised you were allowed to. They banned that shit everywhere, like all my yeah. fucking summer outings and schools yeah. and shit. Well, this was like a, I don't know what this was because it wasn't my normal summer camp. Like, like I would, I would go. Yo, to- your parents definitely sent you to some fucking like behavior. No, well, fucking like, you know, cause like you're like really out of whack, so they need to send you somewhere. And, like well, the no, teachers there teach it's you weird. how to fucking be a good kid. It's weird because like I would go to summer camp every year, but they would also they I. Vividly, and so and so does my brother. Like we both recall going to this building, and to this like it was like a day camp, but it wasn't summer camp, and it was just a one room building. Like like, and it was just like games spread out. Like you can go board games. Oh, it was probably like an aftercare thing. It it was like that, but I don't think it was an after. Anyway, I would I I would have my turquoise Game Boy doing like just every Game Boy game or whatever, there. And uh, I saw some kid with a turquoise Game Boy there as well. And I was like, oh, I have the same color. That's cool. Because I, I didn't... And he was like, yeah, man. And he was like, he must... Bro, this kid must have been like... Like five or six years, like, older than me. And I I went to go, like, at my bag. And I mine wasn't there. But he fucking, you know, oh. he definitely stole it. And I, like, I didn't confront him because I was shy as fuck. But, dude, no, oh, I was heartbroken. Man. I was heartbroken. That sucks. That, yeah. That you was... swiped that shit? When did you get a new one, then? So or did you not? Was that it? Did you tell your mom? Well, yeah, I told my mom. And um, I didn't get another one until, like, like probably Christmas or my birthday or something. Oh, but the dude. next one that I got was, was the Game Boy Advance. Nice. And so you upgraded. Fuck I, that I upgraded. Kid. You exactly. Upgraded. I upgraded. Fuck that kid. But bro, I. Because on the Game that. Boy Advance, you could play Game Boy Color games. Still. Yeah. And my brother had a see-through purple Game Boy Color. That's my guy right there. And that I, was mine. And I was like, yep. damn, that's sick. Yep. But I had to. Yo, wait. Actually, mine got stolen. Uh, my see-through purple one got stolen back in the day. I don't know. I was at that same aftercare that you guys were at, and uh, your brother. I don't know. Maybe he fucking swiped my shit, bro. Yeah, so anyway, um... <laughs> no, but I did have a see-through purple one. It was fucking nice. awesome, man. I love yeah, that no, thing. Sick, I love that sick. thing. But yeah, bro. My cousin, playing? dude, my cousin had a lime green one and had black buttons. That, it looked, that it was, was fucking heat, that bro. Was it was sick. so fucking that dope. Sick. That shit, I was like, 
Fuck, playing games on that one was infinitely better. <laughs> oh, it was so fucking good. Like, the games just ran better on that. No, but uh, yeah. Then you then uh, then we upgraded to a Game Boy Advance, and I and I had I used to have um this like bendable light thing that you, you had the light attachment. Yeah. You know what? I was I a hard bro. Listen, had, listen, bro. listen, listen. I was a I was a hardcore gamer, bro. I had you know what sucked. I had everything. Get uh, get 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 on my level. You know what absolutely Please. sucked. So, bro, I had to fucking, I never got, I was never privileged enough to get the fucking light attachment. And, bro, playing on the Game Boy Advance at night, I would literally, I would have, I would be able to have my TV on. I would be able to have my TV on, but no fucking lights or anything like that. So, I would, like, my TV would be behind me and I'd use the light from the TV and I would put my Game Boy like this and this is how I would have to play. Like, up against my dresser or whatever the fuck. Trying to get fucking light and that shit was ass and you know what was the worst i'll tell you what i used to fucking do this is how much of a fucking addict i was driving home late at night on long car rides like if we went to go see family or something like far away driving home on long car rides at night yeah i could bring my game boy but i had to hope that the traffic lights would hit the car and i would have enough time to see where i'm going wow and based on the traffic lights i would have to put my sh- my shit down wait and if i saw traffic lights coming up i could go up real quick and move or like do a couple attacks or something wow how fucked up is that by the traffic lights, bro. You wanna know what's really fucked up? And, On the and, highway. And, and, and it's funny that you said car rides, because, li- listen, the only reason why I have that light to begin with is because, for, like, I, first of all, I didn't even know it existed at the time, but my parents did, only because when we would, like, ride home from, like, like uh, a family thing, and, like, you'd have, like, a 45-minute, like, hour, two-hour long car ride, and it, you'd always leave at night... I would keep my car light on, and my dad would get so pissed. Oh yeah, that was out of my the question. My dad would get so pissed, but the That's thing is, completely out of the, the question. thing is, I was so into this that I knew he was driving, so there was no way he could have come back to the back seat and turned it off himself. Oh, so I just kept it on. Goodness. I was such a dick. I was such. You a are dick. a piece I'm of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, scummy tea, bro. I mean, we're talking about our origin story here. unbelievable, man. But yeah, it just got to the that point is unbelievable. where my dad was like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm getting this kid. Fuck that, this kid, bro. There has to be a light or something. Yeah. Dude, that light, that light, I'm telling you, the only reason why that light was made was because a bunch of angry ass parents were like, listen, oh, they're like, something. fuck this. <laughs> I can't drive. I, I can't deal drive. with this shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Dude, wow, the Game Boy, fuck, dude, Game Boy was huge for me, man. Oh, dude. Game Boy was fucking massive for me, dude. Bro, I had, um, I had this, like, samurai game that, uh, it was like, you had three lives, there were no checkpoints, and once you lost those three lives, you had to start all over again. Jeez, ruthless fucking games. Dude, I never made it past, like, the second level. <laughs> To this day, I, I that's like half the games I played. I could probably beat it my first try right now, but yo, know, back in the day, that was like the hardest shit I had. I um, dude, games back then were fucking had no remorse, bro. They didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck about you. Nope. They didn't give a fuck about if you fucking win or not. They didn't give a nope. shit. They don't have, yeah, nope. <laughs> dude, Game Boy games are fucking great, man. Yo, you brought up OG Xbox, dude. Is that the same Xbox where you played a Halo game for the first time? Or is this a different Xbox? I, I, I believe. It. Is that is this the machine where you loaded up Halo for the first time ever? It was, it was. Well, I I first started off of a um, like my first my first console, if you will. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, my first my first console was the Xbox, but I did the first thing that I actually ever played was my dad's. Uh, Sega Master System, and I played uh, this game called Alex the Kid in Miracle World. Look that up if you uh, if you ever bored. It's just the most like soundtrack slapped. Soundtrack slapped. All right, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. If it's got this, if it's got the heater OSTs, I'm fine with that. <laughs> soundtrack slapped. Um, Straight zingers on the OST. Oh, no, yeah, dude. Fucking yeah. Shout out to shout out to my babysitter Katie for. Convincing my parents to hook your boy up with Halo 2. So I, didn't, I didn't play Halo Wow, that's one. clutch. That's clutch. I, I played Halo 2. That was my first Halo. I was the same way. I went back to Halo yeah. 1. Yep. Actually, I don't know. 
Yo, shout I definitely out. beat the Halo 2 campaign first, but I might have played Halo 1. But sorry. But no, seriously, though, bro. Shout out. Shout out Katie. She's a real one. If she's listening to this podcast somehow. Thank you. She was a real one. We appreciate you. She convinced we wouldn't my have, parents we wouldn't have... that, uh, that there, weren't, they, uh, there wasn't any blood. It was alien goop. Alien goop. G O O P. What a fucking word is that? <laughs> Alien Goop. That's the name of the episode right there. Let's go. We got it. It's easy. Alien Goop. Alien Thank goop. you. Dude, that's hilarious. Yo, shout out Katie one time for the one time, bro. That's fucking awesome, man. If it wasn't for that, who knows, man, what kind of domino effect would have happened if you would have not gotten Halo 2. Exactly, because that, that led into Blood Wake. Have you ever tried Blood Wake? Is. I never played that, no. You've never played Blood Wake? Never heard of it. Wait, is that is that the name? Of, hold on, I, I want to make sure that's the the actual name of the game. Don't be don't be feeding me lies here, champion. Let you me know, see Blood this. No, Bloodwake. Is it actually? Yeah, Bloodwake. Oh. oh no, I never played it. Wait, uh, uh you you never played this game? Nah. Bro, boats mounted with machine guns. What more can you ask for? Twisted metal. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted metal sounds infinitely better. <laughs> Bro. Giant arena death trap with different vehicles. Bro, Blood Wake. Did you fuck with Twisted Metal? No. Bro, I had Blood Wake. I didn't. Yeah, you had shit. the wall. You had diet Twisted Metal. That's yeah, fucking bro. why, bro. Get you had, you get had fucking diet Twisted Metal, yo. You didn't get to fucking play. You didn't get to play regular Twisted Metal. You got diet, diet Twisted. Get out of here. Bro, fucking Blood Wake. Blood Wake was so sick. I would I'm pick sorry, diet Twisted Metal? <laughs> Blood Wake over Twisted Metal any day. Fuck Fight off, me. bro. Fight me. Get out of here, dude. Fight me. You know where I live. Fight me. Dude, go, go get your fucking Diet Dr. Kelp out of oh here. <laughs> oh, my God. No, dude. Blood Wake was sick, though. That's awesome, though. Yeah, Boats that's cool. Boats with mounted machine guns. Wait, is launchers. that the fucking game? Holy shit. Wait a minute. Yo, I can't fucking describe it, but did you have, like... Dude, I, I played that game. I 100% fucking played that game. Listen, are you... Was it like... Are you, you enlightened like as one well? on, Could you do like one-on-one -on -one fucking arena battles and shit like that? You or was could. it... And was there like like weird mini games and shit where you would like shoot... I don't know, like balloons or something. Like red versus blue balloons or something. Was I, there little mini games, like one-on-one -on -one mini games like that? Because I, I could have 100% played this fucking game, dude. I, I, I'm describing it so bad because I'm trying to reach into like... Yeah. The fucking depths, like original Xbox depths of games I played. I just vaguely remember. Was there like, was I don't know. Was it like mini boats? Did it look like mini boats? Like in like a fucking I arena. To be, co to be completely all honest, right, we're I spending have no too idea. much time on it. I might have played just, a fucking game like that. All I know is that Blood Wake was just so sick. I might have fucking I okay. I know. I, I think yes. they did have mini games, but I if don't there think was like I mini ever played them. Because, like, they have, like, a main menu and, like, a bunch of other stuff, but, like... I, I can know, see I the just... fucking game. I can see the fucking game, bro. Like, I can see the water and the ships going on the water. Like, I know what you're... Yeah. That's crazy. I know what you're fucking talking about, 100%. Bro. Then, that game then class. You're enlight then you're enlightened, you're enlightened as well. If it's the same one, then I know it's still Diet Twisted Metal, but I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Yeah, my first, my first gaming... Like, obviously, I think it was Pokemon on a, on a handheld, but my first console gaming... Was Ultimate Mortal Kombat three Sega Genesis? Damn, three years, three years old. I was three years old. Sheesh, jumped right I into was, it. I fucking was three years old, and I saw Scorpion on the Ultimate Mortal Kombat three select screen with the music playing, and I had a Sega Genesis controller in my hand, sitting on my cousin's floor, just looking up at the TV. I was like. Oh my god. <laughs> like I need this. What is this? <laughs> and then the first time I threw a spear with Scorpion in the game, I was like <laughs> Okay. I I I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> just short. Couldn't even fucking formulate words. Uh, yeah, literally uh, just uh, uh, <laughs> What is going on? Spark slide. Yeah, that, That's funny. That shit was fucking Damn, awesome. Yeah, you jumped man. right into it, okay. Literally been playing Mortal Kombat for fucking Yeah, I was two gonna decades. say, is that what it, like is that what really Sparked your MK, MK. It all, that's where it all started. My whole fucking early life was just Damn. fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. Pokemon. It was like always Pokemon. That was like when I come when it comes down to it, like think about like hours put in. Like if you want to talk about hours put into games, 
overall, it's really hard because there was a really bad, like, six-year Call of Duty fucking addiction. Like, really fucking bad. But just the amount of Pokemon that I played, like, growing up from, like, fucking one years old to fucking how old I am now still playing it. Like, I definitely logged the most hours into Pokemon games. Yeah. Without a fucking doubt. Like, holy shit, I always had Pokemon on and in my fucking hand, dude. That shit Bro, I have to. I have fire. to. I have to find. You still have. You don't have your. You can't. You well, know, no, I, I, I know. Like I know for a fact I still have it. I just have to find it. But uh, what you can do is GameStop has used DS lights, which is like older still? models, but they ha- for like seventy five bucks. Damn, they're still selling for that bills. much shit. They come in these fucking Ziploc plastic bags. Looks like they didn't, nobody gave a fuck about it for years. Yeah, seventy five. Seventy five bucks, bucks used DS lights. That that's crazy. It's fucking heat, that's, dude. That's it's so criminal. fucking good. That's criminal. But I I need I I I'm really torn because I do want to switch really bad. But there's a whole Damn. thing going on with switches right now, man. Have you looked into it? You can't fucking buy one anywhere. Oh, dude, I... you can't find it anywhere unless you're buying. You're spending like five hundo on eBay for one right now. And it's been out for like two years now, right? But it's just right now. It's because of the whole situation. Apparently, they like stopped making them. Oh, so as really? soon as that happened, everything sold the fuck out. Oh, there I are little really ones. stopped making them. There's like, there's like a couple popping up in random Best Buys if you can get lucky. But like, literally go on Amazon right now, 500 bills for a fucking used Damn. Switch. It's funny that, that you brought up Switch because I was like actually really looking forward to, I'm, to yeah, buying one. Yeah, me too. Because obviously me too. I've been you looking. need Smash. Because let me just set the record straight here on the podcast. Episode 7. I hate, episode 7. Is, it's so a fucking lie what you're about to say. Episode 7 of Collaboration Station. Officially known that I am the better Smash player. Bro, I literally fucking trashed you. Every- you're getting Dorf is garbage. Look how mad he's getting. I Look fucking worked because it's a right. lie. How are you just going to lie to people and say <laughs> that you're fucking right. good? There he is literally right. 12 witnesses. There's 12 witnesses that watched me make you fucking quit playing the game because your Ganondorf is garbage and you can't handle my Ness or I Mewtwo. Don't know what you're, talking about. you're so bad. You are so bad, it's insane. And then you try to switch to Donkey Kong and you get worked even harder. I, I beat you in every know. set that we yeah, played. I don't think so. Every set we played with 12 other humans in the room, you got fucking worked. I don't think so. But, you know what would actually be really cool then? You know, be fucking, you know you know what would be dope? We fucking, when we both get switches, we could settle it. Now that it's a thing on the podcast, we could both get switches and settle it and make videos out of that. I make mean, like a full on tournament for like the once and for all. Like, you fucking suck. Your Ganondorf sucks. Your fucking Donkey Kong blows, and I trash you. Literally four stock every time. <laughs> listen, I mean, fucking listen. You, you let me know when. I'll, I'll embarrass you You're every day. Your ass, I'll bro. You are you. so bad. It's so <laughs> funny how bad you are. You are so fucking bad, and for some reason you think you're like... Like, have some, hum- <laughs> like, humility and just be like, I'm going to practice. I'm going to get a Switch and practice to get better, and maybe I can beat you. Because that's fine. I'll understand. I'll be like, hell yeah, man. Let's practice <laughs> oh, together. Shit. But you're a fucking dick, and you're, like, lying to these people saying that you won any set you've ever played Whoa. against me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Garbage, bro. Maybe this is why I can't get a Switch, bro. I'll fucking launch that shit out the window because of Smash. <laughs> Listen, listen, you let me know what I'll yeah, embarrass you I'm, any no, day of the week. We'll do that. We'll fucking, right. we'll actually play. That would be fucking awesome. Also, Animal Crossing, gotta fucking hop on the Animal Crossing Yo, wave late, but. You know what, what would be really sick? If, uh, if. We made an Animal Crossing series? No, I think we need to settle that. I think we need to settle that on the podcast but when we get our upgrades. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? That's a genius fucking idea. Wow, that's an amazing idea. Write that okay. shit down. Yeah, don't stop, 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 stop. Well, <laughs> y'all will see what's happening soon. If it, oh, listen, y'all are gonna see what's happening soon. Just wait, just wait. Going back to it though, so we don't spoil too much. Yo, that's fucking great of the switch, idea. Though, but speaking of the switch though, um, they just like I don't know where I I I must have like read it on like IGN, like Instagram or something. But um, I saw they were like remastering a bunch of games for the switch. Wow. And what do we got? It was a very long list. And really? It very long. One of them, it there must have been like 20, 30 something games on that list or something. Any Pokemon games? Um I I I regret to inform ah, you that I, figured, I was I so oh, mesmerized on one game, bro. They are they're remastering Burnout Paradise. 
Oh, that's lit. That's fucking for the cool. Switch, Hell yeah, dude. I, Is, are they gonna have online? I fucking hope so. Yo, that would be a that would be that would slap. That Yo, would be some shit if they just put it online. And that's apparently like next month or something. Like it's soon. It's not even Yo, like speak, speaking of remaster. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you just nobody fucking knows how pumped I've been. Really silent about this. Like the day oh. it was announced, I think I retweeted it or something. But nobody fucking really knows this, yo. I am one of the biggest Tony Hawk Pro Skater nerds oh. ever. Ever. I got my ass handed to me by all my cousins and shit growing up. But I persevered. And I fucking love Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yep. I recently, two years ago, just 100% of Tony, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 on PS2. Okay. That was awesome. 3 is probably my favorite. But Pro Skater 4 was a fucking blast. I was a 2X but, guy. 2X guy. Really? Yeah. That's actually kind of dope. Two was cool. Two was cool. Un the underground ones were fun as well. Underground, the underground yeah. ones was, underground was the sick. underground ones came out at the perfect time because I was like, you know, preteen, edgy, like, oh, I can get off my skateboard and do Dude, shit. Dude, like, that was the thing. That was, was like, so that was fun. it. They the put parkour that, in that game, and the story, the, the story can, missions were yeah. lit. Like the fact that climbing you can up get ladders. Do you remember you could you would put when you would climb ladders you would put your skateboard the back tire in your back pocket yep. and it would just hang behind you and you'd go up the ladder uh, and it was like a neighborhood too uh, 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 like jump on like houses a, and shit yeah. you would be jumping yeah. across house dude, dude underground, underground was fucking underground lit. was low key really fire underground was 100%. really cool man underground was really fucking cool but anyway Tony Hawk Pro Skater one and two combo edition remastered coming out in September or some shit bro I'm not kidding. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna make videos on it or anything like that, but I am going to play the fuck out of Tony Hawk Pro Skater yep. Remastered one and two, like bro. Like the perfect Holy game to stream. shit! That's like the perfect game to stream. To stream that could be cool if they have like some yep. like some sh like streamable stuff. I mean, streaming the story will be cool, but that obviously you finish yep. the story and you're done. But if they have some like high score things or whatever the fuck or online graffiti, if they fucking have online graffiti, I don't know if you remember graffiti mode. Graffiti mode was the fucking coolest so. thing ever, bro. So graffiti mode is red this versus blue graffiti. I don't know. I, this is in the Pro Skater series. I know 100%. Okay. I don't know if they implemented it in Underground. But graffiti mode was split screen back in the day, right? Split screen. And you would just be dropped into one of the maps. You know how there was like 15 maps or whatever. Like the you vertical would, you, split screen, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. of course the vertical yeah. split screen. You would be dropped into whatever map, map you pick. Shout out Airport and fucking Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Shout out Airport. And the whole map would be there. And let's say you like grinded on a fucking, like a rail. Let's say you grinded on a rail, jumped off, and then did like a fucking 720 melon off a ramp right after it, right? That rail and that ramp would turn your color graffiti. Blue or red. Let's say on the blue team. It would Ooh, turn okay. blue. Yeah. And the other person on the other team would also be painting the fucking map. And now you're like, okay, but what about when everybody makes one thing blue or red? That's where it gets fucking fire. Because you gotta, in order to change someone's graffiti color, you gotta fucking do a trick that gets more points. So let's say oh, I do a grind. Sick. Let's say I grind on a rail and get 1,500 points, and I make it blue. My opponent, because it tells you, like, the winner is who has more spots graffitied. Yeah. And it tells you in the top, so you're always duking it out. It's always going up and down, up and down. And, like, you'll fucking, I'll go up to the rail, and I'll do, like, a special move. And jump off and do another special move into a combo and get like 1700 points and then it'll turn red graffiti and there are times where like you and someone will just keep going off the same fucking ramp because the last one and like you're trying to get the highest score before oh, time runs cool. out yeah, yeah, yeah. bro graffiti mode was so fucking sick oh, that's and like sick. every time you landed your trick you heard the of the graffiti yeah, yeah, and like yeah. oh bro yo if they have online yo tony hawk pro skater if the makers of the remaster are somehow listening to our podcast Yo, online graffiti mode. Holy fuck, yo. Is I just that, went on a um, heater for that. Is that coming on the Switch too? I think it's on everything. Because I looked, I was like, oh, it's only going to be like a PlayStation thing. So I was like, available for Xbox, yeah, PlayStation, no. PC. Dropping this shit everywhere. Everywhere, bro. And I'm fucking amped, yo. And I'm fucking amped. And it's so cool because back when the game came out, all those skaters were super young. Yeah. And now all those skaters, I don't know if they're going to have like alternate costumes, but like how, what they look like now. Is gonna be like, oh, like when you pick shit. Tony Hawk, that's he's cool. gonna be old, like old Tony Hawk. It's yeah, fucking cool. cool as fuck, man. Oh, that's cool. It is so fucking sick. Bro, Tony I remember Hawk back, is just the chillest. He's the coolest dude ever. He's the coolest, coolest fucking so, dude ever. So fucking chill. 
And in the games back in the day, bro, I remember there was, like, secret unlockable characters. Like, that's what I fucking miss so much about games is, like, now that with the internet and shit, like, anything secret within... Before you even play the game, you know you can unlock it. Yeah, exactly. Back then, bro, you do random shit. I remember I fucking unlocked Darth Maul in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Yeah, you could fucking be... You could fucking be Darth Maul, red lightsaber on a floating skateboard. Wait, what the... And you un... Yeah, you fucking unlocked him by, like, 100%ing the game or some shit. Like, comp like, doing everything. Bro, what? Boom. Darth Maul. Yeah. And you want to hear another crazy one? In the same game, I think. Fucking Wolverine. You could be yellow and blue Wolverine. And he's got the claws. And each character comes with special moves. So Wolverine had a grind where he would grind his claws on the rail behind him. And it made, like, sparks and shit. Fucking Darth Maul would flip his lightsaber on the grind as a special move. Yo. In fucking Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, you could be Bobo F Boba Fett. And his special fucking move... Oh, no, it was Django Fett. You could be Django Fett. And his special move was the jetpack. So you could go off a ramp, hit the jetpack move, and do, like, fucking 90 spins and come down and land, like, a 30,000-point combo with fucking Django Fett. Bro, nobody knows about how fucking insane Tony Hawk Pro Skater's <laughs> secret characters were. <laughs> I just blew your fucking mind, right? I just Dude, blew your... After this, what? go look up Tony Hawk Pro Skater hey, yeah, 3 Darth Maul gameplay. Fuck, man, I've been stuck Fucking on insane. Insane, Damn, I didn't bro. Know they were I was facet. Darth Maul. Right. I was Darth Maul grinding fucking rails and doing fucking 720s and shit on the place. Bro, like, that's holy funny. Fuck, man. Bro, it's actually And there's so many funny. others. It's funny, too, because, like, so Jet Set Radio Future also had <laughs> special characters. Just to bring it back to the. In, Just to bring uh, it back to the OG. I can literally talk about this game until the I day think I you do. Until, I think I, you do. I think I do. I, I, I actually think I do. But, um, yeah, they, they also had special characters. Um, and, yeah, it was like, it, it didn't tell you. It didn't tell you that there were special characters. And it also didn't tell you that doing said list of items would unlock special characters. So Did you already talk about this on the podcast, the special characters in the game? Did I? I, I, think you, I probably did. It's all right. Real but, quick. Uh, I, go over, I think you did. I'm not going to lie. I just, but they also on, had special it. characters. And it was just like, you just, they just came up out of nowhere. You'd unlock them. And it was like. As a dope. kid, you were probably like, holy shit. Did they have like different colored rollerblades and shit like that? No, but um, the special. Bro, they were. Listen, They're sick. The special characters are special characters. Was there any like Tron looking characters? Oh, like neon oh 100%. Shit? Oh, hell yeah. Zero beat, hell bro. Hell yeah, bro. That's sick. It was the what? same character as like the main character, but it was like a futuristic robot version of him. You had Pots, Yo Yo's dog. You could rollerblade as a dog. Yes. On all fours? No, just on the. Uh, two that's and funny he dances enough. too. He dances in the two that's front lines. But, uh, mummies. Oh, that's cool. Cyborgs. You name it, they got it. Poison what character. Jam? When you play through at, what character are you playing as? Oh, beat, 100%. And you pick I, what character you want? Yeah, yeah. And you can, like, change whenever, because, like, certain characters have certain stats. Like, some are, like, faster, some, that's cool, some that's spray cool. faster, some have more boost. But beat, there, beat, and then there's, like, another, there's, like, a, a couple more that are just generally, like, very well balanced. And he's, like, the face of the game, too. But I just, that's cool. he, he, to me, looked the coolest. Um... I know a lot of people picked Beat. I don't mind. Beat's fucking sick. He's dope. It's alright then. Beat's dope. It's but, fucking um, alright. That's cool. Yeah, bro. Classic games, man. Fucking, uh, Something shit. About I fucking... Him. I fucking forgot what I was gonna say. Son of a bitch. I had something fuck. I had a fucking heater. I had a fucking heater. Was it I a... forgot it. Was it about, uh, Tony Hawk? Jets. Probably. Honestly, probably. Tony Hawk. <laughs> Dude, that game is so fucking cool, man. Dude, Tony Hawk is so fucking, fucking cool. Darth Maul. Darth Maul. What the? And Wolverine. Fuck? Where was I? What was I doing? What the fuck was I playing? Not hundred percenting the game. Not getting all the I've, skate no, letters I've on never every even, map. I've never even played those games. I've, I've, I think I've only played two X. Wait, yo. Uh, Under, I, I played X, Underground. I played Underground, but I think if I, you have an OG, dude, I think it's on OG Xbox three and four. I would I one hundred percent check. Go on Amazon and see if you can get a used copy for like ten bucks, okay. bro. You should play I'll through Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Pro Skater is fucking great. Yeah, fucking great. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. Oh, I love it. Love to see uh, it. The thing is, I never played this game, and it's kind of an old game, and I never really heard much about it. It kind of came and went. 
But isn't there a game kind of like Jet Set Radio Future Modern, like with modern graphics? Isn't it called like Sunset Overdrive? Isn't that kind of the same premise where you're just flying around on skates, oh, yeah, grinding on shit, and doing like objectives? You should look into that because you might really fuck with that game. I, I, I just, know, it really I know, just popped in my head. I know there's like um, Sunset Overdrive's about like um. You like grind on shit and stuff yeah, really no, fast. And you got boosters. You grind. You have boost. I believe you have like some fucking spray. There's a, thing there's a zip line attachment. I know that, and you like fucking fly. Fuck, I have like, to I, look into that. Like I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I've seen you got two. Two homeworks after this podcast, after we're done. Sunset, check out, yeah. Check out Sunset Overdrive, and then also uh, look up Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 Special Characters Gameplay. Yeah, man. Fucking awesome. Fucking oh, awesome. I gotta, I, gotta fucking... I gotta buy Bloodwake again. I gotta buy Bloodwake again. Diet Twisted Metal, yo. Diet fucking uh, Twisted Metal. But yeah, so I want to switch really fucking bad, I switch and I too. can't get one. It sucks. I fucking slept I on it. I waited so too long. Because there is nothing more that I want to do then put you in your fucking place your fucking trash <laughs> what else would you get for the switch um smash 100% obviously we just went over that probably a mario party of sorts you know got to have it it's just i feel like that's it. a game you just need to have it, yeah it's just it's just, just have it yeah just have it um burnout paradise 100% remaster let's go 100% then i don't know i'm sure there's a couple other Fun Switch games out there, you know? I really fucking want to Switch, man. But, uh, honestly, really, the only thing I'd, I'd really want for that would be Burnout Paradise. and Because that's the thing. The Burnout Paradise Remastered is only going on the Switch. Oh. That's that's the reason why I'm like, oh, let's go. Because I'm, be... I'm not going to be you... able to, like, buy it on Xbox or whatever. Would you beat Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered on Switch? It's funny because my brother bought that. I know you have it. That's why yeah. I said I know you have it, but I you don't have the Switch, but you have that yeah. game. I would, would you do it again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that's my a fucking... Au- Dude, that's a that's an amazing travel game right there because you can just fucking oh, yeah. play that game for like seven hours straight. Dude. No fucking problems. Back at my old job, um, I would I would be like... I would have to fly like um, down to New Orleans uh, and Miami like back and forth a bunch of times for for work because we were like shooting just like online video content and my uh co-worker who was also another camera guy he he had a switch and, and he brought it with him on the flight and nice. we were sitting next to each other and we just like we just put the switch down bro oh yeah with the because you can play with the little controllers bro, one-on-one right it must have been like a five-hour flight and we were delayed or whatever that shit made it feel like it was 30 minutes. Dude, that see that's why it's unbelievably clutch, I, man. What you guys I, play? Bro, I, I took my headphones off and I was and they're like, "All right, we're going to be uh getting ready for depart uh, for for uh landing." Yeah, I was like, "We're already there." Damn. It's like, uh, I didn't even know we took off. <laughs> what were you guys already playing one on one? Were you playing like Mario Kart or some shit? No, it's like this weird like boxing fighting game. I couldn't i couldn't tell you but what you it played is. it for like five hours straight oh yeah it was so it. fun it was so fun yeah i think switch just... is like they they fucking cornered the market when it comes to traveling like uh yeah entertainment whatever it's the fuck. honestly i think that's like the perfect size it's good it's, it's not it's good. too small i i may, maybe it could be a little smaller but i i, I do Bro, like it's a two and like one you could put it on a big ass fucking tv or you yeah. could play it in your fucking yeah. car like what the fuck man geniuses fucking geniuses bro and like the joy cons like bro it's yeah dude. i don't know how they do that shit man i don't know how they fucking keep doing that shit dude, but a switch is i need one i need one and, so and, bad. and and shout out to nintendo too for always making their stuff like just look dope like it's super and, sleek an n64 controller you don't Eat see it. that that shit anymore no never you don't see that level of creativity you know it's crazy i actually saw something on instagram where it's like um like it said, like PlayStation and Xbox, like don't broke what's not changed or don't fix what's not broke. That's the phrase. And it was like the line of all the controllers, and they kind of look similar, just with like minor upgrades throughout the years. And then it's like Nintendo, and it was a 64 controller, a GameCube controller, Wii joysticks, like a Wii a fucking Switch, yeah. Joy Cons. I was like, damn, wait. I literally saw that two days ago. It's funny you said that. And I was like, wait, these motherfuckers really just be fucking just putting out the craziest looking controllers yeah dude. right and i love them dude i love the gamecube controller i fucking love the gamecube yeah. controller 
Yeah. It's so fucking sick. Like, don't get me wrong. PS4. I've been using a PS4 controller for the past year, and I fuck with it really heavy. It's super comfortable, but like game the clicking and clacking the left yeah. and right bumpers yeah. on a GameCube controller, yeah. bro. And that's the thing too. Like, um, so as I said, my brother has a Switch. Uh, for Christmas, I bought him uh, a GameCube controller adapter for the Switch. Oh, hell Because we yeah. already had our yeah, GameCube sir. controller, so I was like, dude, if we're going to play Smash, we're playing it. We right. got to go right. Yeah, we're not, do- we're not doing right. this. We actually played each other one-on-one at TwitchCon with the Joy-Cons. That oh, was I super hate, weird. Dude, I hate the Joy-Cons. So, that was like, so weird. First, it, like, it's, they're good. I give them that. They're good. But just... They're handy. My fingers are very fat. And every time I go to to grab, it always shields. And I'm like, I'm trying to do that, man. What I will give them credit, though, is playing Mario Kart 8 with the Joy-Cons. Actually, oh, yeah. not bad at all. No. I was at my boy's crib, and he has a big-ass fucking TV and a Switch. And I was like, yo, you want to play some fucking Mario Kart? Because sometimes you just can't go wrong. With, like, no matter what, you really just can't go wrong with Mario Kart. I'm just going to chill, you know? I actually have Double Dash. I got to fucking bring that. I, ha- I found Double Dash in my old closet. I gotta bring that here because that's the fucking that's some heat. Yeah, you but know. I was like, let's fucking throw Mario Kart up on the uh, Mario Kart Eight or whatever they're on up on the big screen. And he's like, I only got Joy Cons. I don't got a GameCube controller. I was like, oh. but then we started playing, and like after one lap, I was like, wait, this is actually like okay, fire. It works really fucking well. Yeah, like, you could fucking I could throw my items. I can drift. I could turn. I could fucking accelerate. I was break. I was like, wait, this is fucking. So they're not ass. It just not for ass. some things like Smash garbage. I can oh that sucked. That actually sucked. But yeah, yeah, man, a Switch is definitely in the works, and then we could definitely play each other. Because I do want Smash. I also want every fucking Pokemon game that came out yeah, on the Switch, bro. But this is where I'm torn. Oh, and yeah, yeah. This is what I was about to say, because I'm actually pretty torn, and Nintendo might fucking take $1,000 from me because I just have fucking problems. But I do really want a Switch. Like, I would buy one immediately. Yep. But what sucks is they're not available right now. But what I also always wanted that's super expensive is Nintendo 3DS to play the remakes of Sapphire and Ruby. Can you only I play it on that? It's their 3D games. Their 3DS games. Gotcha. Same with some of the newer Pokemon games that aren't on the Switch or the handheld ones. Yeah. Those are only 3DS. But I only want to play the remasters of Sapphire. I think it's like Omega Ruby and something Sapphire. Mm-hmm. But it's the remakes of Ruby and Sapphire on fucking 3DS. And apparently it's fucking great. Yeah. So I I really want a 3DS because I could probably find one right now, but I want to fucking switch so bad yeah, because I know, I know. that's all the new shit. But I really want to play the remastered fucking Pokemon's on 3DS. So I'm like, I might just buy a 3DS now, and when switches are back by the holiday season, whatever the fuck they do, I'm just gonna cop one. Dude, I need I need some Burnout Paradise in my life right now. Go get your fucking Game Boy, man. You need to find your fucking Game Boy I and do. some games. That's what you should fucking do. I do. You need to tear. You need to just chill in your bed or on the couch or something with something on, some random shit they don't really care about on, and just tear up. Just press new game on a fucking old Pokemon game that you fucked with, and just fucking tear through that shit. Yo, booting up Emerald with Drake and Josh in the background. You know what's hilarious? I fucking do that. I literally put on Drake and Josh. Yo, that shit is. That'll take you right the fuck back. Yeah. That'll take you. When you sit there and you hear the Pokemon theme music and Drake and Josh theme music, and you're you're gonna be like, "What the fuck, right now, bro?" You're gonna like tell telep- so <laughs> copyright, bro, copyright. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm Drake and Josh. You know it's all on Hulu, right? Yeah. I fucking tear through that at least once every couple months. I'll go through all three seasons on there. I think they're missing a season. I'm not sure. I, they they're have missing. To they're def. They're definitely missing episodes because one of the seasons is like four episodes and like. They grew up way too fast, and I'm like, wait, didn't this, this, and this happen? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I think they cut out some episodes, but for the most part, there's so much Drake and Josh on Hulu, and that shit hits the fucking spot. It's something, yeah. It's, it's genius, bro. They're too good. Mm-hmm. They're too... Have you seen, like, the... They've done, like, random videos over the past couple of years of, like, them, like, watching old episodes or stuff like that. Have you ever seen any of those? Of them watching like, Drake, old episodes? No. Like, I guess you, Josh is, like, big on fucking YouTube. Like, he oh, yeah, yeah. YouTube He's, game uh, now on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, he'll do videos with Drake and they'll like watch old Drake and Josh clips and they'll like talk about it. Or I know he did one with Miranda Cosgrove as well. Okay. They, just, they just put a laptop in front of them. They just watch old fucking clips oh, of Drake that's and Josh funny. and talk about it. Dude, that's it's funny. the coolest. It was the coolest videos ever. Yeah. You have three homeworks. You got three homework assignments. Yeah, yeah. 
You got three. Write, write it down, Sunset, write it down. O- Sunset Overdrive, that's like the last on the list if you get there. Definitely look up Tony Hawk's special characters, gameplay, and then uh, the well, Drake and Josh. Why could my homework what? be like that in school? Imagine. I would have done that shit all day. Your homework. Uh, okay, for English, I want you to watch two episodes of Drake and Josh. It's like, and I'm already done. I'm already there. Did it yesterday. Literally have my synopsis written. Did that for fun. Did that shit yesterday, teach? Oh, baby. Did that yesterday at 7 a.m. when it was... No, that was Teen Nick. That was later at night. That was Drake and Josh was Teen Nick, so we had to wait a little bit for that. We had to get through well, the SpongeBob episodes and some other stuff. Yep. yep. Was Fairly Odd Parents Nickelodeon? Fairly Odd Parents. Dude, they fucking uh, milked Jenny this the shit Jenny the Teenage Robot. Come on. Wow. Come on, dude. You know what I fucked Foster's with Foster's Home for Imaginary Friend. No, that was Cartoon Network. That was Cartoon Network. But you know what Wait, I no, fucked Jenny with? Wait, no, Jenny was Super- also Cartoon Network, right? Or was that was it? I... Mm, what was Dexter? Dexter was Cartoon Network, right? Danny Phantom was Nick. Damn it, bro! I was just about to fucking say that. Bro, Danny so Phantom do you, was. Sick. Do you know my? Do you know my conspiracy theory? Of Danny. You want to oh, hear my Danny it, Phantom conspiracy? Like, well, Timmy what? Turner or something like that. So the, my Danny fan, I fucking thought about this. If you look, at, if you look closely enough, like Danny Phantom is literally Timmy Turner, and the way this happens is. Timmy Turner wishes... Because you know how his parents are fucking stoned for brains? Is that the FBI? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I think they're oh, on shit. The oh, shit. <laughs> oh, so, God. you know how fucking... Oh, God, they're here. <laughs> they found us. So, Timmy Turner's parents are basically stoned for brains, right? They're fucking boneheads to the max. Damn. Big boneheads. Damn. So, I think Timmy wishes for his parents to be smart. I wish... I think he wishes for them to be super smart okay. scientist people. Right? Because what's the origin story of Danny Phantom? He walks into his parents' lab, walks into that little thing, and fucking gets zapped and becomes a phantom, right? Mm -hmm. I think Timmy Turner wished for his parents to be super geniuses. They created... He lost his fucking Fairly Odd Parents because he either got older or he did some fucked up shit and he wasn't supposed to wish for something and he did and he lost them. So then his parents are super smart now and he can't undo that wish. He goes into their little science room, gets zapped, becomes fucking Danny Phantom... Because if you look closely, Chester and AJ, Timmy's friends, yep. they're they're literally the teenage versions yep. in Danny Phantom. They're in there. Yep. You can see them in there. One hundred and ten percent, one hundred and ten percent. Timmy Turner wished for his parents to be super geniuses, and then broop, becomes Danny Phantom. I think you're onto something. <gasps> it's like, oh shit, they they fucking heard me. I think we got to end the podcast. They're on to me now. <laughs> Dude, that was a fucking awesome episode, man. Episode 7, in the fucking bag. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, please do go give us a follow on the Instagram. They've been right it's here right the entire episode. It's They're right here there. every single episode. Like Tyler said, it's free. Just go give us a quick follow. Tell us you're from the podcast. It'd be super cool to see that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see y'all next week, 6 a.m. Eastern, for another episode of the Collaboration Station Podcast. Peace! Bye-bye.